Welcome to week 5, Exodus 33 to 40, and Leviticus 1 to 13. From Oreb to the Quarantine Laws. In Exodus 33, what does stiff necked mean? What was the tent of meeting? What happened with Moses and God's glory? In Exodus 34, Why did God require Moses to chisel out new stone tablets? Why was Moses not to make treaties with nations in the land? How do Christians still keep the spirit of the festival of unleavened bread? Look up 1 Corinthians 5 verse 8. In Exodus 35, how did God expect Israel to keep the rest day? Why was Bezalel filled with the Holy Spirit? In Exodus 36, where do our skills come from? What is a cubit? In Hebrew, cherub is pronounced kerub. What is the significance of the colors blue, purple, and scarlet? In Exodus 37, how big was the ark? Why were the covering cherubs not considered idols? What could the showbread portray? What could the lamp portray? What does incense picture? In Exodus 38, what did burnt offerings picture? What did the washing picture? What was the courtyard for? In Exodus 39, what was the ephod? What was on the breastpiece? How was the robe constructed? Does this teach us anything about our dress for church services? In what ways would our attire make newcomers feel welcome? or unwelcome. In Exodus 40, how was the tabernacle set up? Do these details teach us anything about the importance of church maintenance? In Leviticus 1, what aspects of Christ did the burnt offering picture? In Leviticus 2, what aspects of Christ did the grain offering picture? In Leviticus 3, what aspects of Christ did the fellowship offering picture? In Leviticus 4, what aspects of Christ did the sin offering picture? In Leviticus 5, what aspects of Christ did the guilt offering picture? In Leviticus 6 and 7, what are further details about the five offerings? Why were eating roadkill, fat, and blood forbidden? Why was the priest's share important? In Leviticus 8, what pictures of Christ do we see in the ordination of Aaron? What did the sacrifices picture? What did the olive oil picture? In Leviticus 9, where do we see aspects of Christian worship? In Leviticus 10, what is the significance of the death of Nadab and Abihu? How important is it to God to do church services in a right manner? In Leviticus 11, which animals were considered kosher and not kosher? In Leviticus 12, how important is it to give a woman's body time to recover after childbirth? In Leviticus 13, how important is quarantine for skin diseases? How big a problem can molds cause? Well, that's it for this time. God bless you.